Hi guys, uh, we are here in San Diego with Caitlin, our uh, hydro core coach in San Diego. And uh, you've seen her performing this uh, hips mobility uh, movement using hydro core. Now we'll go deeper inside the, you know, the why, and uh, she will, uh, you know, also give us a, de a demo and explain uh, what's difference performing you've seen doing with the shoes or other object, but why the water, why the bag? Uh, the motion that we're trying to work on with the hydro core is actually this. Coming up, coming around, as if you were clearing a hurdle that's about mid-hip height. Okay, so if you can imagine, if you can maintain the ability to control, stop, produce power throughout this circle that I'm creating, you're gonna have access to a lot of exercises and movements that you might be interested in doing, especially with the hydrocore. Um, so what we like to do is once we understand how our body can make the circle without any objects, we like to introduce an object so we can get the brain working a little bit more and we can also get a sense of feel for the body and start to get into what's an active range of motion, which means there's a force and, and a little bit of pressure and tension and weight resistance as opposed to simply moving through air and space. So as an example, we can come here doing the same motion and we can use gravity a little bit differently to make the same movement a little bit more challenging. And then my favorite thing to do is to then progress to an external object, perhaps a shoe, um, a cone, a hydrocore. So with a shoe as an example, it's quite light and it's actually very difficult to keep a shoe on your foot <laughs> because you're balancing only and there's no resistance to force you to drive through it. So the goal here to do the same motion on the ground would be here, rolling around. All the way. Yeah. And then returning. Where we're expressing the same motion I showed you standing up, facing the ground now with the shoe. Adding the hydrocore is going to make it a little bit easier in some ways and a little bit more challenging. Obviously the water moves, that's going to be on the more challenging side. On the easier side though, having some weight pushing down on you makes it a lot more easy to push through the bag and then move more fluidly. But the, the point is simply that now that there's some weight there, I can produce some force up through the bag. And the point is when you produce force throughout your body, instead of just having a wet noodle moving around, you actually have more of a range of motion you can work with. So I would really suggest if you wanna be using the hydrocore for this type of a motion uh, training for your hip joints in particular, you'll wanna have a bag that you can, that doesn't cross the, the water won't want to cross the middle here because it's going to be very difficult to have the water stay on each side. So if we had a bag, maybe you would, you would want to just fill it to the black labels right here. And then as you turn around through the motion, it won't be going from side to side when you're beginning. However, as you advance, the heavier the bag uh, if you even raise the water up a bit more, it'll be more challenging because it will tell you how is your stability as you clear around that circle. So this is one of my favorite uses for the bag and it's a really fun challenge that everybody in my classes enjoys doing. Um, start off standing, then go to all fours, and then when you feel like you understand the movement pretty good, add your hydrocore bag and have some fun with it. Wow, look at that. And obviously you wanna come back on the starting position. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I can see, I can totally tell this for people that use like kicking all the time. And I'd say my, my but, students that are less mobile on their hips, they are more successful by keeping the bag away. Uh-huh, okay, more straight. 
Look at that. Keep pushing through the bag. Oh, keep, yep, keep pushing through the bag. There you go, push up, push through the heel. Oh, uh, yep, yep, turn your knee. Got it. Oh, heel up, turn the knee, bend the knee. Ah. Oh. Wow. It's very challenging, guys. But I can tell already, you know, how you can truly can challenge the mobility of your hips. I will try more, post more video about that. Okay, so first try. Come on. <laughs>